In the following video, we'll display how the Viper Wire Rope Lubricator makes easy work of a usually very challenging, dangerous and time-consuming lubrication exercise. Upon boarding the vessel, we prepare a job safety analysis and complete all area inductions. As for the job safety analysis, all appropriate personal protection equipment needs to be used. Before climbing the slew column, isolation of the crane is very important and implemented to avoid crush points. The Viper Bulk Carrier Kit is used in conjunction with either a Viper Mini or Viper Mid Kit with seals, scrapers and rope cleaners as required. The Bulk Carrier Kit consists of the following components. Two drill winches fitted with special load rated spectro rope, two Milwaukee cordless drills, four lithium ion batteries, two rapid battery chargers and a 35 metre half inch Viper hose fitted with three carabiners and quick connect couplings. Pre-loop preparation includes arranging for a suitable airline supply at the column and preparing Viper components for lifting to the two work locations. Carabiners are fitted to the lubricant supply hose. These carabiners are clipped to the wire rope being lubricated to support the hose during the lubrication process. Note in this instance we chose to connect the carabiners directly to the collar. Here's an example of the Viper bulk carrier system in use on a test rope with a rope cleaner attached. Viper rope cleaners can be used if the ropes have a buildup of external contamination. The rope cleaners enable superior lubrication and penetration to occur. Note, drop sheets may be required to contain the contamination removed by the rope cleaners. The Viper mini collar, a drum pump, one of the winches, a drill and an air supply need to be lifted to the column work locations. The second winch is to be lifted to the boom end work location. From the boom end, unspool the rope from the winch, taking care not to tangle it. Take that rope over to the Viper Mini Collar, located at the column work location, and attach it to the Viper Collar. Use the D-shackle supplied. The first winch is located at the boom head sheave end, to pull the Viper Collar from the slew column. Note also the location of the grease drum pump on the platform below the boom. The second winch is located at the slew column to pull the Viper collar back. Winches are fixed at both the column and boom end sheaves using the supplied ratchet straps and shackles. Both winch lines are then attached to the Viper collar to allow forward and reverse travel of the collar along the wire rope. Winches are to be secured to a fixed structure at both work locations using the ratchet straps and D-shackles supplied. The winches need to be fixed with the supplied straps and shackles at both the boom head sheaves and the slew column sheaves. Now, fit the Viper mini collar to the rope and tighten firmly by hand. Attach the column winch rope to the Viper mini collar. If the lubricant supply hose is not fitted to the Viper Mini Collar, do so now and also attach the hose support carabiners to the wire rope. It's now time to begin the wire rope lubrication, making sure the winch at the column work location is disengaged in neutral and the boom end winch is engaged in drive mode. In coordination with the personnel at the slew column, start the Viper grease pump and the winch located at the boom end together taking care to adjust the pump feed rate to match the winch speed. Take note of the lubricant covering on the wire rope. If there is an excess of lubricant building up on the rope, slow down the pump speed. If there's not a nice consistent film of lubricant on the wire rope once it's passed, increase the lubricant pump speed. Once the Viper Mini has reached the boom end, the lubrication is complete. Isolate the pump, remove the collar, and fix it to the next rope to be lubricated. 
the winch the boom work location is to be disengaged in neutral at this time and the column winch engaged into drive. In coordination with the personnel at the slew column, once again, start the Viper grease pump and the winch located at the column together, taking care to adjust the pump feed rate to match the winch speed. Repeat the process until all ropes are lubricated.